Shalom, fam. Shalom. Family, we're glad that you can join us today. Uh, Y'all know that yesterday we re-uploaded our uh, message of our testimony. Mm -hmm. And we did that because we felt it was important that a lot of people haven't seen it because that's something that we always talk about, our testimonial video. Mm -hmm. And we thought that we would share it with you guys, especially those that are new in this walk, new in the truth. Uh, Actually, it's... It was also a blessing to some who are in the, I mean, who's been in the truth and who have seen it before as well. Mm -hmm. And actually, when we put it out, we didn't think that, you know, it would have that much of an impact, even on the believers who've been in the walk and who have seen our testimony video already. So we do appreciate the encouragement because what we gathered from that, too, is that we all deal with the same type of experiences, the same sufferings, or the same types of awakening. Although... It comes in different ways. It still, um, it still boils down to the same thing. Mm -hmm. Our our soul seeking Yah, you know, wanting wanting salvation and and wanting to do it right. And Yah placing His truth in our hearts because really, without Him doing that, we don't have no awakening. <laughs> he the one He did this since the foundation of the earth, and He knew who He would put His truth yes. in. So I want to make that clear. It's not on our own that we are woke, we are aware, awake and aware of Yah's truths. Mm -hmm. It's Yah that places it in us. Mm -hmm. So I just wanted to add that part right. too. It was a blessing for people who've seen it for the first time, but also for people who's been in the truth right. and seen it already too. Right. So and hallelujah. Hallelujah. That's kind of why we put it up. I put in the video that it, uh, it resonates with people and... Uh, motivates them to, to always put their trust in Yah. Um, and, and one of our sisters, you put the uh, the link up, mm -hmm. it, it encouraged her uh, right. unapologetic truth, truth right, mm -hmm. to uh, put up her testimony. And it's right. important, family, for those type of things because like what Sister Abby, I was saying, all of us are in dis different stages of this walk. Mm -hmm. So it's always encouraging to see how others are came into this truth or, and how they're dealing with it mm -hmm. and just uh, how they're... Um, I wouldn't say maintaining, but how they're being resilient in this right. world. Right, mm -hmm. right. And I just want to also add something too. It's very important too that we support each other in this walk because I'm gonna say this: mm -hmm. before me and Brother Rasha did our testimony of video, mm -hmm. I wanted to do one by like yourself. by myself mm -hmm. before all of this because we wasn't here right. at that time, and Brother Rasha didn't get the revelation at that time that y'all put on his heart later that mm -hmm. he would use him for his esteem. Right. And as we're, as he's doing today. So that was years ago before we did our testimony. I did a video, a testimony, a video by myself. Mm. And I, nothing, I'm telling you, you guys, like mm. nothing in me, like want, like nothing, I, nothing in me wanted to put the video out. It's like, I did it and it's like, I can't do it. Mm. I can't do it. Mm -hmm. And I was like, where's this coming from? Why can't I do it? But part of it was fear. Mm -hmm. Part of it was, I don't know how the world's going to receive me. Mm. Part of it was, I, I'm already being ostracized by my, ostracized by my family. And, and um, I just didn't feel right with putting it out for whatever. I'm, I'm trying to tell you, these are the emotions that I was dealing with. It was not easy to do mm -hmm. because I felt like, okay, I, I, I've always been a person I didn't I never liked the, the spotlight mm -hmm. I never liked it to put myself out there mm -hmm. so us doing this right now is me coming out of my comfort, comfort zone because I just never liked to be in the spotlight mm -hmm. everybody who knows me personally knows that about me so I didn't want to do it mm -hmm. um, I did it Mm. Because it was like y'all was speaking to me like you need to put your testimony out, testi right. you know, because you never know who can hear it and who's going through the same thing like right. you, and you can encourage them right to put theirs out or to come out of these churches, mm -hmm. you know, who's experiencing the same thing you uh, was experiencing. But I could not do it. I just couldn't do it because I was so afraid of how I would be received and also putting myself out there in the spotlight. Mm -hmm. So when people do that. As you notice, they have some testimonial videos, but not everybody 
does testimonial videos for whatever reason, mm -hmm. and that's okay. It's really when y'all it puts exactly. it on your heart to do it, mm -hmm. not because look me, like I said, I didn't do mine. Me, we end up doing it together later and putting it out together. Mm -hmm. So that testimonial video that I had, I don't even know where it is <laughs> anymore. <Right. laughs> but I did it, mm -hmm. and it was, you know, it, it was it would have enlightened others, but I just could not find it in my heart at the time to put it out. Mm -hmm. So when people do it, we just want to ask you all and encourage you all to encourage our right. brothers and sisters when right. they do that because they're putting themselves yeah, out. Absolutely. And it's, it's letting them know they're not alone in this walk. Mm -hmm. You know, giving them support when they do it because if everybody is in different stages, different yes. le on diff you know different levels. Mm -hmm. So I just wanted to add that in. We have to support each other. That's very important within this body. You know, you, you touched on so many things that I always talk about, um, especially for those that's in the body of, of, of truth, the believers, and just in life in general. Filming a video, like Sister Abby, I said, not everyone can do that. We know it, it's intimidating what they said. The number one fear for everyone is public speaking. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so that takes a lot of courage mm -hmm. is what I'm saying for someone to get online and put a video of themselves speaking, especially mm -hmm. being vulnerable with people mm -hmm. and, and sharing something like the truth and sharing a testimony of where they came from. Mm -hmm. So it is very important mm -hmm. to support these people, support our brothers and sisters yes. and letting them know that, hey, I see you, I support you, and I'm glad to have you as a brother and yes. sister in the truth. Mm -hmm. That's why we always talk about people that have these different ministries. Mm -hmm. Now, they have to be uh, uh, talking y'all's truth, mm -hmm. uh, speaking the word. That's why we support these people, because there's not many of them. Mm -hmm. Not many people do that. So mm -hmm. it's important, the encouragement. That's why we say all the time, too, we just thank you guys for coming on here, for supporting us. Mm -hmm. A word of encouragement. Mm -hmm. That that means the world to us. Yes. That means the world to us. Mm -hmm. And somebody put a comment uh, I was reading this morning on another video. Somebody was saying how they felt alone in the walk mm -hmm. and uh, the person responded with, um, that's why you need to reach out to someone and to let them know that you're not alone and express what you're going through. Mm -hmm. So we understand that family. That's what we encourage y'all to do, brothers and sisters. Mm -hmm. We tell y'all all the time to email us. Uh, if y'all have questions or if y'all looking for support, we encourage you guys. That's very important, family. And if you do, please give us a little time to respond. <laughs> That's the we disclaimer will. all right. the time. That's the disclaimer. Right, because we're reading multiple messages, right. and sometimes we have long messages. Mm -hmm. And at the same time, in between that of us having to respond back, we have family. Right. You know, issues, not issues, family, uh, with family, uh, situations, families, I don't know, yeah, just normal, general, normal, right, normal family normal, stuff. right. Mm -hmm. and, and everything else, as we continue to say that everybody else right. deal with. Yeah. <laughs> so, and, and speaking of that, that's why we, we didn't come on uh, yesterday for the Shabbat mm -hmm. lesson. Right. Just dealing with family things. Right. Things that families deal with. Mm -hmm. So, we're here today, family. Yes. And we're here to talk about an important topic. Yes. We this, couldn't wait. Right. We couldn't wait for a few days or a week later to do this. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know, because y'all, he had it on our hearts. And, you know, for us to do this, we went over it over, right. like, for Shabbat. Well, the day before Shabbat, right? Mm -hmm. We went over it and we was like, we just have to finish it. We right. have to do this. Right. And today we're talking about baptism, family. Mm -hmm. Baptism. Is it important? Should I do it? Should I not do it? Mm -hmm. When should I do it? Mm -hmm. Who can baptize me? Yes been getting a lot of questions about baptism. Do I need to get baptized to receive the Ruah? Mm -hmm. All these questions that people have, and we're going to tackle that today because what we were talking about earlier, many people are at different stages. A lot of people coming new into this walk, coming new into the awakening, mm -hmm. coming new into the truth. Mm -hmm. And that's one of the biggest questions that they have about should I get baptized or not? Mm -hmm. And we're going to cover that. You know, many of us coming out of religion, we got baptized just because it was a thing to do. A lot of us, we didn't know why we did it. The pastor would tell us, if you want to accept JC, you have to get baptized. Mm -hmm. So, but is that according to scriptures? Is that true? Mm -hmm. Were we just following the traditions of men? We're going to cover all of that family. We're finally going to put this question to rest, this debate to rest about baptism. 
So many people believe different things. Mm -hmm. And we're going to touch on it, family. So this is important. We're going to eat. Uh, we're going to eat a lot of meat today, family. So mm -hmm. get your farts, get your plates. Mm -hmm. <laughs> we're about to feast on this meal, family. Mm -hmm. So um, let's dive into it. Y'all know our story. Myself, when I'm reading scriptures or when I'm thinking about what they were doing in the scriptures, I always try to relate it back to our ancestors, what they were doing in the old covenant. How does it relate? And when I think about baptism, I always think of baptism like, okay, I always just hear John the Baptist. He mm -hmm. was baptizing people. Who mm -hmm. was who was baptizing in the old covenant? Mm -hmm. I never really heard no one doing it uh, or saying a thing like that. And it, it really wasn't until Yahushua came into the scene that he's telling people to baptize in my name and all that stuff. You never really saw that in the old covenant. Mm -hmm. So were they doing it? In the old covenant, was it a, a symbolism of something or was it a, a foreshadow of things to come? Mm -hmm. What was the deal with baptism? So let's dive into it, family. Let, let's talk about it. Um, we know that baptism is with water, but Yahushua said, I'm going to baptize you with the Ruach and fire. Mm -hmm. So let's see what, what that water is. In the old covenant, they always talked about water. Water symbolized multiple things purification even salvation family <laughs> cleansing washing away all these things that's what water symbolized throughout the old covenant so let's look at that and dive into it exodus chapter 30 starting at verse 17 you want to read that mm -hmm. it says then yahuwah spoke to moses saying you shall also make a, le a lever of bronze mm -hmm. with its based also of bronze for washing you shall put in between the tabernacle of meeting and the altar, and you shall put away, wait, uh, and you shall put water in it, mm. <laughs> for Aaron and his sons shall wash their hands and their feet and water from it. When they go into the tabernacle of meeting, or when they come near the altar to minister, mm -hmm. to burn an offering made by fire to Yahuwah, Mm. They shall wash with water, lest they die. Mm. So they shall wash their hands and their feet, lest they die. And it shall be a statue forever to them, to him and his descendants throughout their generations. Wow. Lest they die. Lest they die. Verse 20, when they go into the tabernacle of meeting, so before they approach me, before they approach my Kodash, temple my mm -hmm. kodash uh meeting place mm -hmm. and you shall put water uh verse 20 or when they come near the altar to minister to burn an offering made by fire to yahuwah they shall wash with water lest they die mm -hmm. wash with water family that word is strong's number the water uh i mean wash mm -hmm. that word is number 7364 in the strongs and that's rakats and it means to wash, wash off, our way, mm. bathe. Mm. So all these things. So basically, Yahoo was telling them to, before y'all approach me, y'all must cleanse yourself. Mm -hmm. Y'all must purify yourselves mm -hmm. before you approach me. Mm -hmm. Wow. So that, that's, that's y'all need to think about that, family. Mm -hmm. What y'all is telling them to do. And this was what he said. This is throughout the generations. Basically saying, y'all got to purify yourselves. Mm -hmm. Y'all have to cleanse yourselves. Mm -hmm. um, let's look at another example in Genesis chapter 6, um, starting at verse 13. You want to read that one? Mm -hmm. It says, And Elohim said to Noah, The end of all flesh has come before me, for the earth is filled with violence through mm. them. And behold, I will destroy them with the earth. Make yourself an ark of go gopher wood. Make rooms in the ark and cover it inside and outside with pitch. Mm. And this is how you shall make it. The length of the ark shall be 300 cubits. Mm -hmm. Its width 50 cubits and its height 30 cubits. You shall make a window for the ark. And you shall finish it to a cubit from above. And set the door of the ark in its side mm. you shall make it with lower second and third decks mm. and behold 
I myself am bringing flood waters on the mm. earth to destroy from under heaven all flesh mm. in which is the breath of life. Everything that is on the earth shall die. Mm. But I will establish my covenant with you and you shall go into the ark. You, your sons, your wife, and your sons' wives with you. Mm. <laughs> wow. That's powerful, family. Mm -hmm. We see the symbol uh the wash. symbolism, yes, the symbolism again of the water. Right. What y'all said, what what they were saying in the story. Wickedness was going on throughout the mm -hmm. earth. Sin reigned throughout the earth. Mm -hmm. Y'all is like, this place is wicked. Mm -hmm. I will destroy it yes. with water. With water. I will cleanse it. I will wash the oh. filthiness away, away with water. Mm -hmm. Y'all see the symbolism, family? Mm -hmm. Y'all see what y'all is saying? And they're gonna give this this same example in the in the in the new covenant about Noah and how they were saved with the water. Mm -hmm. And family, the interesting thing about that, those verses is when the, and the revelation I kind of just got when you were reading that is that y'all said I'm a I'm a wash away all this wickedness. Mm -hmm. I'm a wipe away, cleanse this earth mm -hmm. <laughs> of all the wickedness that's going on, all the sin that's happening. But don't worry, uh, Noah. I'm going to protect you. I'm going to cover you mm -hmm. and your sons. Right. Just follow what I'm saying. Mm -hmm. Y'all going to be protected. Mm -hmm. I'm going to establish my covenant with you and your descendants. By your obedience. By following what I'm telling mm -hmm. you what to do. to do. So that's powerful, family. Mm -hmm. That water symbolizes Yahuwah um, establishing his covenant with Noah saying, I'm going to protect you. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm going to cleanse all these things away from the earth. But you, you're going to be all right. right. So don't don't worry about it. Mm -hmm. and, and David, we saw all throughout the scriptures too, David talked about Yah making him clean. Mm -hmm. Yah giving him, put him a new heart in him. Mm -hmm. Yah washing away his sins. Right. We saw that symbolism in that. Psalms 51 too, it says, wash me. Wash me clean of my iniquity and cleanse me from my sins. Mm. So he's basically saying, purify me. Mm -hmm. Purify me, y'all. Mm -hmm. Wash me. Cleanse me. Mm -hmm. Y'all see the symbolism, family? Mm -hmm. How it meant all throughout the old covenant that our ancestors, they continually talked about y'all cleansing them. Mm -hmm. Y'all purifying them. He established that for the Levites. Mm -hmm. Y'all have to purify yourself before y'all approach me. Mm -hmm. Very important, family. Um, Psalm 51.7. You want to read that? It says, purge me with hyssop. And I shall be clean. Wash me and I shall be whiter than snow. Mm. Wow. Whiter than snow. Whiter than snow. Wash me and I shall be whiter than snow. Yes. And we know this is when he was praying. Mm -hmm. Telling y'all to cleanse him. Mm -hmm. Cleanse the, the sin from him. Mm -hmm. Y'all hear that family? Right. He's still talking about cleansing purification. Mm-hmm. All those things, which is very, very important, family. Mm -hmm. uh, and if we look at it, too, again, we never saw a, a direct example of like how they did the baptisms in the New Covenant. But the closest thing to like a baptism in the Old Covenant was this example here. This is uh, Elisha and uh, Naaman. Mm -hmm. You want to read that? Okay, it says... Which one in Second, mm -hmm. King, Second, Second Kings, Kings five, mm -hmm. starting at verse nine? Then Nahab went with his horses and chariot, and he stood at the door of Elisha's house. And Elisha and Elisha sent a messenger to him, saying, "Go and wash in the Jordan mm. seven times, and your flesh shall be restored to you, and you shall be clean." But Nahab became furious and went away and said indeed i said to myself he will surely come out to me and stand and call on the name of yahuwah his elohim and wave his hand over the place and heal the leprosy mm. are not the abana and the farper the rivers of damascus better than all the waters of yashrael mm. could i not wash in them 
and be clean. Mm -hmm. So he turned and went away in a rage. Mm. And his servants came near and spoke to him and said, My father, if the prophet had told you to do something great, would you not have done it? Mm -hmm. How much more then when he says to you, Wash and be clean. Mm. So he went down and dipped seven times in the Jordan, according to the saying of the man of Elohim, and his flesh was restored like the flesh of the little child, and he was clean. Hmm. Wow. Hmm. So he's like, um, why I gotta follow what Elisha telling me? Why I gotta go dip myself in the Jordan? And if y'all did any history uh, research on the Jordan, Jordan, the Jordan River was one of the dirtiest rivers at the time. I think it's still like that because people bathe themselves in that, and then animals drinking there, all types of stuff. And he's like, why well, I gotta go in that dirty water and, and dip myself? <laughs> There's cleaner waters in the, in these other places. Mm -hmm. But his, his servants was telling him, do what the prophet tells you to do. Mm -hmm. And and look what the prophet told him to do. He said, "Go and dip yourself seven times in the Jordan." That word "dip" is uh, Strong's number twenty-eight eighty-one, and it means to dip, plunge. Some of its usages usages are to immerse, hmm. bathe in water for purification. So we see, family, that. Yah told the uh, the Levites, purify yourselves, um, bathe yourselves, cleanse yourselves with water. Same thing, uh, who was it? David. David was telling them the symbolism of it. David was telling Yah, wash me of my of my sins, mm -hmm. cleanse me. Mm -hmm. And this is kind of what Elisha is telling the uh, Naaman. You want to be healed of this leprosy? Go dip yourself, go immerse yourself in this water mm -hmm. and be cleansed mm -hmm. of the leprosy. Y'all see that symbolism, family? Y'all see the pattern, the repeated pattern of what they were doing in the Old Covenant? The water meant cleanse. Mm -hmm. The water meant purify yourself. Mm -hmm. Water also meant, too, y'all heard the saying, y'all said, uh, y'all heard of living waters. Mm -hmm. Y'all referred to himself multiple times as the living the water, living the water. fountain of living water. Mm -hmm. Jeremiah 2.13, it says, for my people have committed two evils. They have forsaken me, the fountain of living mm -hmm. waters, mm -hmm. and home themselves cisterns, broken cisterns that hold no water. So Yah is describing himself as the living water. Mm -hmm. <laughs> mm -hmm. Right. That's powerful, family. Mm -hmm. Jeremiah seventeen thirteen. Same thing. Let's uh, let's pull up the scripture right quick. I have it here on the uh, computer. Okay. He oh, says, O okay. oh, Yahuwah, the hope of Israel, all who forsake you shall be ashamed. Those who depart from me shall be written in the earth. For they have forsaken Yahuwah, the fountain of living waters. Y'all see the that, family? Fountain. The fountain of living waters. So all of these things throughout scriptures, Yah is using water to, to symbolize cleansing. He's saying, I am that water. Yahushua mm -hmm. talked about it too. We gonna, Remember Yahushua said, I, if you accept me, if you believe in me, out of you, a uh, fountain of living waters will flow. Mm -hmm. This is what he's talking mm -hmm. about. Out of you, my father will flow. Mm -hmm. <laughs> mm -hmm. Wow. And this is all things of what? Is to come mm -hmm. for believers right. in the new kingdom to right. come. Everything is, is symbolic to that. Mm -hmm. With Moses, with Yahushua, right. that's all symbolic to what is to come what in the new come. kingdom. Mm -hmm. And we know, right, Yah is salvation, right? Mm -hmm. <clears throat> he even refers to the water as salvation. <laughs> Isaiah 12, 1, 3, it says, And in the day you in that day you will say, O Yahuwah, I will praise you, though you are angry with me. You hunger, your anger is turned away. You comfort me. Behold, Yah is my salvation. Mm -hmm. I will trust and not be afraid. For Yah, my Elohim, is my strength and song. He has also become my salvation. Verse 3. Therefore, with therefore, with joy you will draw water. From the wells of, of salvation. salvation. Mm, the well 
house of salvation. Y'all getting that family? Mm. Y'all getting how important that water is? Mm -hmm. How the, the water is cleansing, it's purification. Mm -hmm. Yah refers to himself as the living waters, living the waters. fountain of living waters. That water is salvation. Mm -hmm. Right, as we were reading, and uh, it's, it just amazes me how it says, uh, in verse 2, it says, Behold, Elohim is my salvation. And then it goes on to say, I will trust and not be afraid, for Yah, Yahuwah, is my strength and so on. Mm -hmm. He has also become my salvation. And as you were reading that, I was mm -hmm. thinking of Yahushua's name. Mm. He said he came in his father's, father's name, name which yes. means Yah is salvation. Yes. This is why it's important for us to call upon the name of the Mashiach yes. and stop connecting him to Jesus. Mm. There is a, no message, no well, no meaning in the name of Jesus. Exactly. That means Yah is salvation. Jesus is actually connected to um Greek yep. and Latin. Yep. So do some research on that to see what the meaning is. Mm -hmm. Swine. <laughs> yeah. Earth swine. Earth right. swine. Right. Mm -hmm. Do some do some research. It does mm -hmm. not mean Yah is salvation. So when we still calling on that name, my question is why? Right. Why? Yeah, I, I don't get it. Why? I do not get it. And a lot of it is people just want to hold on to the traditions of men. Because the doctrines of this world, it's still it's safe to still call on JC. Right, to call on JC. It's safe. And I can draw more people when I say mm -hmm. uh, numbers. JC. Right. Numbers. Right. Yeah, so mm -hmm. that's something that we will never understand. We I'm 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 sorry, but I'm not sorry. <laughs> I don't know if you heard this before. Sorry, but I'm not sorry. Right. Because if you do a studies on it, if you do research on it, it is obvious his name was never Jesus. Right. It does not mean Yah's salvation. You you all we reading in the scriptures. It tells us Yah's character. Mm -hmm. Yah is our salvation. Yahushua said, I came in my father's name. Yah is in his name. Right. right. Yahushua, Yah's salvation. Right. And being that we read that verse where it says Yah's salvation and um his water you will draw from the water of salvation mm -hmm. that's why it's important about the name and when i'm saying i don't understand those that call on jc i'm talking about those that's in the truth yes that's, that's what we're we, saying yes. right I'm, let's make that clear right right you, right. you have all of this knowledge you know that okay yep the, the scripture is about a certain group of people and and you receive revelations on all those things you know who the people of the book are you have all this knowledge but mm -hmm. i will still call on jc right and if and i even see things and it, it is not to be critical but we just have to we just have to wake up just mm -hmm. like how what we say on yes. our other channel right. Rosh and Abbey mm -hmm. we, we have to wake up Time because wake up. I mean think about it we've seen people put yeah and then parentheses they put ja mm. <laughs> think about it just think about it and it's not to be critical but mm -hmm. you know we have to really think about this and this walk yeah are we gonna say hallelujah ja? Nope. Who have you ever heard say the word hallelujah? And we know hallelujah is a universal word right. all over the world. Mm -hmm. Outside of the United States yes. and Africa, all kind of places we heard people say hallelujah. Nobody says hallelujah. Nobody. 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 You never heard one person ever say hallelujah. That His name is, these, these hidden things are mm -hmm. in the right. hallelujahs. And, and that goes, that debunks Jehovah. <laughs> that debunks Jehovah Hallelujah. too. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yes. No. And sometimes you may hear us say some words in the scriptures as we're reading with J uh, in it. Right. Because we we, we kind of right. like sometimes we be reading from the, the King James right. Version that has those names. But you will never hear us say that when it comes to the names that matter exactly. for salvation. Exactly. But many people who are in the truth, they know already that these names, they never begin with the J. Mm -hmm. We we know that too, but we often say we do this for the sake of new people as well right. who are listening. Mm -hmm. You know, because mm -hmm. it's not just about us. It's not just about those who All are right. sharp and, and and may understand, oh, it's not with the J or whatever. We're mm -hmm. talking to everybody. Mm -hmm. You know? But man. Oh, no, we went off into some other but stuff. It's but it's true I mean, that, that part is important Ooh. because 
the JC part, because I think somebody asked us this the other day, and, and uh, many people talked about this, dealing with the baptism. Mm -hmm. People are saying, you know, I'm by these churches, but nobody is calling on Yahuwah. Some of these still calling on JC. Like, us personally, family, and a lot of us, we've been baptized in that name if we came out of religion. We've been baptized in JC. Mm -hmm. We don't want to be baptized in that name, JC. What Sister Abby out says, that name has no meaning. We knows what it actually means. So why would I want to be baptized in that name? Why would I want someone to baptize me that's not calling on the true names? Mm -hmm. and so I, that is very important. And I actually, yes, yes, mm -hmm. was baptized in the name of Jesus mm -hmm. before coming into this not as a truth, but I had to get re-baptized. Mm -hmm. I got re-baptized because the names do matter right because it says yah is my salvation mm -hmm. so i'm acknowledging that when i get baptized in the correct name right exactly jesus does not mean that and it doesn't say that mm -hmm. but you know of course at the time y'all ain't that our ignorance but now when we know better we do better we, do we better. have to fix those things this mm -hmm. is part of repentance turning away correcting exactly. our wrongs exactly exactly so let, let's jump into right quick. And you were just talking about the, the future time to come. Yah is, is going to be talking about the renewal of Yasharel. Right. And this is Ezekiel. And, and again, it's talking about that water. Ezekiel 36, starting at verse 25. He says, Then will I sprinkle clean water upon you, and ye shall be clean. And when we read the scriptures, this is something that we always talk about. And the scripture repeats the same thing too. Yah always wants to make a clean heart. Mm -hmm. He wants a clean heart from us. He wants He wants his law, statutes, and commandments to be in our heart. Mm -hmm. And notice how in this verse he's saying, I will sprinkle clean water mm -hmm. upon you. And ye shall be clean mm -hmm. from all your filthiness, from all your idols. Will I cleanse you? I will give you a new heart. And put a new spirit, a new ruach within mm -hmm. you. I will take the heart of stone out of your flesh and give you a heart of and give you a heart of flesh. I will put my ruach within you and cause you to walk in my statutes, and you will keep my judgments and do them. Mm -hmm. So family, we see that in this verse. I mean, this is what, what we can expect in the future. This is the future world to come. Yah is saying, I will sprinkle clean water upon you. And he's he's kind of doing that right now, family. That's the purpose of the baptism. Mm -hmm. And ye shall be clean. Symbolic. Right. Right. <laughs> it's and symbolic. Exactly. Mm -hmm. And by doing these things, I'm going to put my, a new heart in you. Mm -hmm. I'm remove that stony heart from mm -hmm. you. And give you a heart of flesh. Mmm. Mm -hmm. Yep, and it says he, what he said. I will put my spirit within you and cause you to walk in my statutes, and you will keep my judgments and do them. Mm -hmm. Now we know that in the new world to come, these things are going to be done in perfection. Right. Like right now, we fall short. That's why we need Yahushua yeah, because absolutely. we're no longer in our land. We mm -hmm. have been scattered abroad all over the earth, and many of us, well, a lot of, I mean, we all in the right. land of our captivity. Right. So. To be honest, all of this has not been fulfilled. The exactly. scripture is talking about a restoration of, mm -hmm. of Yashrael. And that complete... In fact, at verse 24, he said, I will take you from among all the nations. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And in what he said, gather you, didn't he say something like that too? Take you and from gather all... you out of all countries. Or out of bring all... you to your own land. Mm -hmm. and that has not happened yet. So right. that's how we know he's talking about the coming right. restoration of Yashrael. Mm -hmm. But that has not come to pass yet. But a lot of those things are happening. Some of the things Yah is already like working in us mm -hmm. when he says to cause you to walk um, in my ways. Mm -hmm. A lot of us are attempting in the body to do the statues, to mm -hmm. do the feasts or, you know, whoever, you know, according to your walk with Yah and where mm -hmm. you are. But those things right here, what he's talking about is really what is to come, which is going to be done in perfection. Mm -hmm. Because right now... Many of us are doing the best we can, mm -hmm. but we can never do it complete. We already talked about that in our feast mm -hmm. videos too, completely like the scriptures because things are not the same. We are no longer in Jerusalem. Mm -hmm. You know, we're in the land of our captivity. Mm -hmm. So 
right now, Yah is working on us and and putting His Spirit in us. Uh, right. Well, His Ruach, really. His Ruach, yeah. But it's gonna be something different. This one right here is talking about a complete purification. Right. Absolutely. So, family, we established all of that. That that was all important. We saw the the symbolism of the water, mm -hmm. what it meant for Yahuwah. It was a Symbolism of purification, of washing away, mm -hmm. washing away sins, making clean, mm -hmm. um, all of these things. So now we get to John, mm -hmm. John the Baptist, and, and and this is where the symbolism comes in at, and, and where we see, okay, now we understand why John was doing what he was doing. Mm -hmm. So let, let's start reading that. You want to read that? Chap uh, Matthew chapter 3, starting at verse 1. It says, in those days... John the Baptist came preaching in the wilderness of Judea and saying, Repent, for the kingdom of heaven is at hand. For this is he who was spoken of by the prophet Isaiah, saying, mm. The voice of one crying in the wilderness, Prepare the way mm. of Yahuwah. Make his paths straight. Mm. Mm -hmm. Now John himself was clothed in camel's hair with a leather belt around his waist. And his food was lo was locusts was mm -hmm. locusts as I say yeah. <laughs> locusts and wild honey. John was a wild dude. <laughs> <laughs> that was a his wild food man. Was locusts and, locusts honey. and honey. Yes. Dang. Then, <laughs> then Yerushalayim, all Judea and all of the region around the, the Jordan went out to him and were baptized by him in the Jordan, confessing their sins. Mm. Pause right there. It says they were baptized and were baptized by him in the Jordan, confessing their sins. Hmm. Remember Elijah, what he told Naaman to do? Hmm. To go dip himself where? Mm -hmm. In the Jordan. <laughs> wow. They, <laughs> they saying the same thing The same thing place. Here, yep. The same place. Jordan. Yep. yep. Go cleanse yourself in the Jordan in River. In the Jordan and River. And this is what John was doing. Mm-hmm. Hmm. So it says... Um, Okay, seven. And, mm -hmm. okay, seven. But when he saw many of the Pharisees and Sadducees coming to his baptism, he said to them, "Brood vipers, who warned you to flee from the wrath to come? Therefore, bear fruits worthy of repentance." Mm. Wow, worthy of repentance. Mm. And do not think to say to yourselves, "We have Abraham as our father." For I say to you that Elohim is able to raise up children to Abraham from these stones. Mm -hmm. And even now the axe is laid to the to the root of the trees. Therefore, every tree which does not bear good fruit is cut down and thrown into the, the fire. fire. Mm. That's deep. Mm -hmm. That's deep. I indeed baptize you with water unto repentance. Mm. So that's what John was doing. Yep. He said, I indeed baptize you with water unto repentance. Mm. But he who is coming after me is mightier than I, whose sandals I am not worthy to, to carry. He will baptize you with the set-apart spirit and fire. Mm. Mm -hmm. Wow. <laughs> So it's two different baptisms he's talking about. Mm -hmm. John was baptizing with water. And it says, baptize you with water unto repentance. That's deep. Unto repentance. That's Think about it. Now we read in the Old Covenant what Yahuwah told the, the Levites to do. Cleanse yourself before you come unto me. Mm -hmm. Remember, the people had to go to the Levites for purification of their sins. To, uh, for forgiveness of their sins. And this is the same thing kind of what John was doing. He's saying, I'm going to cleanse you mm -hmm. of your sins with, with the water. Mm -hmm. So y'all see the parallel, family? Y'all see the pattern that's taking place? Mm -hmm. John is just repeating that. Right. Mm -hmm. Yes. And it said, he said, um, it says, oh, okay, I finished reading that. Read that. It says his winnow winnowing. His winnowing his fan. Winnowing is, fan his, mm -hmm. is, his, is in his hand. And he will thoroughly clean out the threshing floor and gather his wheat into the barn. But he will burn up the chaff with unquenchable fire. Hmm. John said, I indeed baptize you with water unto repentance. I cleanse you with water. 
I purify you with this water. Hmm. Unto repentance. Hmm. Unto forgiveness. That's what John's message was. Repent. Turn back to Yahuwah. Mm -hmm. That's powerful, family. And he's again, he's laying the way for Yahushua. He said Yahushua is going to baptize you with the Ruah and fire. Mm -hmm. And if we think about it, family, he was getting that from... Uh, he was getting that out of Isaiah. This is in Isaiah chapter 4, verse 3. He says, And it shall come to pass that he who is left in Zion and remains in Jerusalem will be called Kodash. Everyone who is recorded among the living in Jerusalem, when the when Yahuwah has washed away the filth of the daughters of Zion and purged the blood of Jerusalem from her midst by the spirit of by the spirit of judgment and the spirit of burning. Mm. <laughs> we know that the Ruach is judgment, right? Mm. The Ruach convicts. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> right? That's what he's saying. John the Baptist saying, they're going to have one that's going to, when, when Yahushua will come, he's going to convict y'all. Mm -hmm. That fire is going to be, uh, when it says a spirit of burning, that fire is going to consume you. <laughs> <laughs> it's going to be a different type of baptism. Mm hmm Wow. Oh, yes. That's deep, family. So that was symbolic of the Ruach, right? Mm -hmm. Absolutely. He's saying it's really the spirit of judgment, which mm -hmm. we know that the spirit, the Ruach, it convicts us. Right. Convicts us from doing wrong. Mm -hmm. From changing our ways. To turn into, yeah, the, the, the Ruach is that voice of, yeah. Mm -hmm. The discernment. Right. That we, that we mm -hmm. talk about. That we always talk about praying about, right. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That comes from the Ruach. So that that that's so powerful, family. Um, so again, we saw what John was doing, and then we see what Yahushua came when he started his ministry. You want to read that Matthew chapter three, and that's later down in, in the verse, um, in that story, starting at uh, verse thirteen. It says, "Then cometh Yahushua from Galilee to Jordan unto John to be baptized of him, but John forbade him, saying." I have need to be baptized of thee, hmm. and comest thou to me? And Yahushua answering said unto him, Suffer it to be so now, for thus it becometh us to fulfill all righteousness. Then he suffered him, and Yahushua, when he was baptized, went up straightway hmm. out of the water. Hmm. And lo, the heavens were opened unto him, and he saw the spirit of Elohim Descending like a dove mm. and lightning upon him, and, and lighting, and lighting mm. right? I say lightning <laughs> and lighting upon him, and lo, a voice from heaven saying, "This is my beloved son, in whom I am well pleased." Mm. Wow, family, we we have to look at it like this, and and some people even say this, like if Yahoo if Yahushua was perfect, why he had to be baptized? Hmm. Everything was symbolic. He said it. And answering said to him, verse 15, It suffered be so now, for thus it becometh us to fulfill all righteousness. Mm -hmm. So I have to you have to baptize to fulfill righteousness. Mm -hmm. Is the right thing to do. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yes, I'm perfect. <laughs> mm -hmm. But again, he's telling us if you want to fulfill righteousness, follow in my footsteps. Yes. And following the, my footsteps. Don't they have a scripture yep. that says First John two six it says, He who says he abides in him ought to oh. himself also <laughs> walk also to walk just as he walked. That's what I was yeah. yeah. So that's what we must do, family. Walk. Mm -hmm. He laid the path for us on how we should walk. If we say we abide in him, we must walk as he walked. Mm -hmm. Very important, family. And if we look at that word baptism when when uh they're talking about it in, in that verse. Um, uh, in Matthew, it's uh, Strong's number nine zero seven, and that word is baptize, baptizo, and the definition is to dip, sink. Some word usages are: I dip, submerge, specifically of ceremonial dipping. I baptize, to cleanse by dipping or submerging, to wash, to make clean with. Water. That sounds like that's what they was doing in the old covenant, right? Mm -hmm. 
<laughs> Pretty much. <laughs> the assemble Yahushua came to fulfill that pattern. To fulfill what Yah was establishing in the old covenant. Mm -hmm. He well, when we baptize in him, he makes us clean. Mm -hmm. He washes away our sins. Isn't Yahushua our high priest? Yes, he is. That's what the scripture tells us, family. Mm -hmm. So really, we are to model mm -hmm. what he, you know, his, exactly. his example. Exactly. And again, we, we talked about it in the beginning. It's a shadow of things to come. Mm -hmm. They talked about it in the scriptures. Let's look at that. First Peter chapter 3, verse 18. For Mashiach also suffered once for sins, the just for the unjust, that he might bring us to Yahuwah. Being put to death in the flesh, but made alive by the Ruach, by whom also he went and preached to the spirits in prison, who formerly were disobedient, when once the divine long suffering waited in the days of Noah, while the ark was being prepared, in which a few, that is eight souls, were saved through water. <laughs> were saved through water. Didn't this, uh, in Isaiah, he said that uh, my water is salvation. <laughs> mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, verse 21, there is also an anti-type, anti-type, a symbol, which now saves us. Baptism. Mm -hmm. Baptism, family. Sym symbolic. Symbolic. Not the removal of the filth of the flesh, but the answer of a good conscience toward mm -hmm. Yahuwah. Deep. Through the resurrection of Yahushua HaMashiach. Mm -hmm. Deep. This is expressing to us the purpose of it. Mm -hmm. What it says about the conscience. Where was that? But the yeah. answer of a good conscience toward Yahuwah. A good conscience toward Yahuwah. Because whenever you go through a baptism, for, for those who have already been baptized, you mm -hmm. know what we're talking about. And if not, then you hear what we're talking about. When you go through that, it's like you're preparing your mind mm. for that event. Mm -hmm. So you're actually getting your mind right with Yah. You understand that this is serious. Mm. So you like, even I'm going to give an example. What, this is way back then, before I was in the church. Mm -hmm. We were in the church, and I got baptized in the church. Mm -hmm. But I remember that, like, even though it wasn't the proper names, I was preparing my mind for that baptism. Mm -hmm. And so when I was baptized, I noticed a complete change mm -hmm. in my walk. It's some things I didn't even want to do no more, certain conversations I didn't want to have anymore. Mm -hmm. And that was because I prepared my mind with y'all. Like, right. okay, I'm doing this because I'm really serious mm -hmm. in my walk. I don't want to play around anymore. I want to do this baptism because I want my I want to change my life. I want you to change my life, right. brother y'all. <clears throat> and mm -hmm. so I'm just giving an example. That's what it does for us. So mm -hmm. that's why it's talking about that conscious. So whenever we start thinking about baptism and we going, we know we're going to do, we going, we going to be baptized. Mm -hmm. We're now starting to connect more with y'all on a level where we know, look, this, this I want to do this baptism because Father, I'm dedicating my life to right. you. Right. And so that I want to purify myself. Yes. I yes. want to cleanse myself. I want to cleanse myself, and that completely is preparing your <laughs> mind mm -hmm. for you for the baptism. But also for your walk, mm. that is to follow baptism. Right. Although we should, before baptism, you know, be striving to walk in Yah's ways. Mm -hmm. But I'm just saying, it is a preparation before bapt. I mean, we do go through a preparation before baptism. Mm -hmm. And so when it happens, that's part of the, when it talks about the conscious. Because now you done did that. And after you do you you have done it, mm -hmm. now you know, look, I can't be playing with right. this. I just mm -hmm. dedicated my life to exactly. God. Exactly. I just prepared my mm -hmm. mind mm -hmm. beforehand. And so now I can't be no hypocrite and be look, I just got baptized. Right. This is baptism mm -hmm. is serious. This is not something mm -hmm. where, oh, I'm gonna get baptized, jump in some water, and then I'm back at right. it again with, with doing believe, what I want to yep. do. <clears throat> I'm back to my old ways. Right, just because I'm calling on the names. Right. We often say that. 
that means nothing without the heart being transformed. Mm -hmm. And that we, we say too, you know, if you do some studies on it, I'm sure many of you believers will know that, that the mm -hmm. heart is connected to the mind. Right. So that's why it talks about a renewal, a, a renewal of our minds, mm -hmm. but it's also our hearts, you know? Right. So that's and important. That's, yeah, very important. And I think what, what you're saying too is, and Paul talked about it, he's talking about that old man must die. Mm. Exactly. That old man must die. If we're going to baptize ourselves, we really have to, we're getting rid of that old man. Mm -hmm. We're wiping away the wickedness of that old man. That's what Yahuwah talked about when he destroyed the earth, when all the sin, all the wickedness. We get, we're get telling Yah, yes, make us clean. Mm -hmm. Purify us, Yah. Mm -hmm. Take away the wickedness of religion. Take away the wickedness of this flesh. Any of residue. my sinful ways. Yes, take this all away from it. The, the name of JC. I don't want no part of this. I don't want no part of religion. Mm -hmm. What I was tied to, all the wicked things that I used to do. Mm -hmm. The 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 sins of my forefathers. I was just about to say the residue. Yes. yes. That residue that mm -hmm. we still carry from our forefathers. Right. Our fathers before, I mean, after our forefathers, mm -hmm. our parents. Right. I mean, you, you our own sins. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. That's Purifies right. from all of yes. it. Yes. Yes. All of it. Let's read that. Romans chapter 6. Paul talking about that. Verse 1, it says, What shall we say then? Shall we continue in sin that grace may abound? Yah forbid. Mm -hmm. How shall we that are dead to sin live any longer? Now know ye not that so many of us are were baptized into Yahushua, were baptized into his death. Therefore, we are buried with him by baptism into death. That's saying that old man, we we baptizing that old man. Mm -hmm. We washing him away. <laughs> mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We're getting rid of him. That like as uh, Mashiach was raised up from the dead by the glory of the Father. Even so, we also should walk in newness of life. Baptism is serious, family. Mm -hmm. If we're going to do this thing, it's not like what Sister Abby is saying. You know what? I'm just calling on the name. I'm in this new uh, walk now, and I, this is just a right. That's what we did in religion. Mm -hmm. That's just a rite of passage to mm -hmm. do this. No. Because we see other people. Yes. Doing it, so, oh, I got to do it too mm -hmm. just, to, just so that That's what they I did guess in I church. can feel right. or it could look like I'm saved. Mm -hmm. That's not how it goes. That's not how it goes. And I want to say this too. Because I've had somebody that's um, asked this question before. Mm -hmm. When we're talking about a newness of life and we're talking about shall we continue to send that favor may abound and mm -hmm. all of these things. Somebody had asked before, does that mean that we're not supposed to be sinning at all? Mm -hmm. We'd be liars. Mm -hmm. If any one of us as believers would come and say, I, I have no sin in my life. I don't sin at all. Because the scriptures tells us that. That's what it says, that scripture, when it says, um, it says, if you say you have no sin, you are a liar. You mm -hmm. know that scripture that I'm mm -hmm. talking about? Can, right. can we look that one up? Mm -hmm. If you say you have no sin. Yep, the scripture I'm talking about is in 1 John 1, 8, where mm -hmm. it says, if we say we have no sin, we deceive mm -hmm. ourselves and the truth is not in us. Mm -hmm. So I just want to say that. But that doesn't mean we waking up each day saying I'm going to sin today. Right. We're talking when this this thing here is what what y'all don't want us to do is willful sinning, where we just going out and about and sinning, exactly. and we're not living anything, and we're professing him mm -hmm. because if the ruach is in us, we don't wake up desiring exactly. sin, and we don't want to do sin. those things. We exactly. don't want to do those things anymore because of our fallen nature and because we're all fallible. Sometimes things are happen to where we can fall. That's why the scripture says a righteous man may fall seven times and rise up again. Mm -hmm. That's why. Because we're human. We're fallible. That's why we need Yahushua. He is our perfection. Mm -hmm. And that's why each day as we grow, we, we, we mature in our walk. That's mm -hmm. what the perfection is when we're maturing. Mm -hmm. So I just wanted to say that. That's not saying that. Oh, you, you shouldn't sin. I mean, no, you can't, you won't sin anymore. Mm -hmm. Let me say that because mm -hmm. no, we shouldn't sin. Right. But you, that's, that's not saying you can't <clears throat> sin. Mm -hmm. It's just saying that what it says, shall we continue in sin, continue in sin that favor may abound. 
Y'all forbid. Yeah. Mm -hmm. How shall we that are dead to sin live any longer in it? Meaning, why, why would we desire it now? Mm -hmm. Why would we want to sin now? Mm -hmm. If we're supposed to be dead to sin through Yahushua. Right. So I just wanted to bring clarity to that because mm -hmm. somebody did ask that a couple of weeks ago. It's right. not saying nobody sins at all. We would mm -hmm. be lying. Right. But we're talking about willful sinning and all of these works of the flesh sins mm -hmm. where it says you won't enter the kingdom. That's on a whole nother level. We shouldn't be doing that. Right. Right, right. So, family, we're talking about should I be baptized? Is it necessary? We just read Yahushua himself. <laughs> He got baptized by John the Baptist. Mm -hmm. a, a mere mortal man, someone lesser than him. What the scripture says, he who follows after me must humble himself. Mm -hmm. So Yahushua really humbled himself by letting John the Baptist baptize him. Right. So that question, should I get baptized? Family, Yahushua did it. Paul did it. Let's read about Paul. Yep, so let's read that scripture. It's Acts 22. Let's start at... Um, this is verse 14. Let's start at verse 14. And, and this is, remember when Paul, he's on his road to Damascus, got blinded and everything. Um, he was he was murdering the believers before that. Hmm. You remember? So right. this is before he starts his ministry. Let's read that. Start at verse 14. You want me to? Mm -hmm. Okay. Then he said, the Elohim of our fathers has chosen you that you should know his will and see the just one and hear the voice of his mouth. Hmm. For you will be his witness to all men mm. of what you have seen and heard. Wow. And now, why are you waiting? Arise and be baptized mm. and wash away your sins. Wow. Calling on the name of oh, Yahuwah. Wow. Wow. This is the family. Yahushua got baptized before he started his ministry. Mm -hmm. Paul, same thing. And, and when we were reading that, that reminded me of, of the video that we put out yesterday. Mm -hmm. When we gave our testimony. Mm -hmm. Yahushua is telling him, arise, be baptized. Mm -hmm. And he's saying, I'm going to use you to be a testimony. What he said? Um... His will and see the just one and hear the voice of his mouth. For you will be his witness to all men of what you have seen and heard. Mm. Family, our lives are supposed to be a testimony. This is what Yahushua was telling Paul. You're going to be a testimony of what I've done for you. Mm -hmm. What I did for you. Mm -hmm. I'm going to use you. Right. For me to use you, go get baptized. Mm -hmm. You're going to share the testimony of all the things I've done for you. Mm -hmm. That's powerful, family. Yep. So when we want Yah to use us, <laughs> we want to walk in the ways of Yahushua. Mm -hmm. Baptism is important, mm -hmm. family. Baptism is important. It is very important. Mm -hmm. Yep. The um who was it? The disciples. Mm -hmm. And a lot of people ask too, who who can baptize me? Who who was doing the baptizing? Mm -hmm. We saw the disciples were baptized too. Were, were, were doing the baptizing. Mm -hmm. Not the disciples, I mean the apostles. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, Acts 2, 37. Now when they heard this, they were pricked in their heart and said unto Peter and to the rest of the apostles, men and brethren, what shall we do? Then Peter said unto them, repent and be baptized, every one of you in the name of Yahushua, Hamashiach for the remission of sins. Mm. So the apostles is telling <clears throat> the people that heard the, the word, heard the truth. If y'all want to accept Yahushua, y'all want y'all sins removed. Y'all want forgiveness for y'all sins. Mm -hmm. Be baptized in the name of Yahushua Hamashiach. Mm -hmm. For the remission of your sins. For the forgiveness of your sins. Mm -hmm. Cleanse yourself. Because yeah. he's <laughs> our new high yourself. priest. Yes. We don't go directly to, to physical priests anymore like the mm -hmm. Levitical priests. Mm -hmm. Yahushua now is the high priest. That's what the scriptures tell us. And remember, he commissioned them to go out into the world, baptize them in the name of the Father, mm -hmm. the Son, mm -hmm. and the Ruach HaKadosh. Mm -hmm. So that's important, family. 
That's very, very important. And that goes back to what we said about the names. Mm -hmm. That's why the names are important. Mm -hmm. Because that's what Yahushua told them. Mm -hmm. Y'all go and baptize them in the name of my father. Mm -hmm. In my name. Mm -hmm. And in the Ruach. Right. And that Ruach comes with the names. Yes. <laughs> it yes. comes with the names. Yes. So remember too the meanings of it. Yahuwah, I am that I am. Mm -hmm. The self-existing one. Mm -hmm. Um, Another one, or I am he that exists for mm -hmm. Yahuwah. Mm -hmm. Yahushua, Yah is salvation. Mm -hmm. And when, when we receive of those names, we Yah gives us the Ruach HaKadosh. Mm -hmm. When we receive mm -hmm. of those names with a pure heart. When right. I would, when I, would, um, I would say when our walk is sincere with Yah. Mm -hmm. We're not just calling on the name just to say we're calling on names. We really right. want to walk this walk right. Absolutely. Well, walk it out right. Right. That's what I would say. Walk it right. But, um, mm -hmm. go ahead. You was going to say something? No, go ahead. Oh, I kind of forgot. Mm -hmm. <laughs> let's go come back. <laughs> but family, it's, it's just important. And, and let's, let's kind of elaborate a lot more on this we kind of established everything why uh baptism is important um what they were doing in the old covenant it was a cleansing it was a, a washing mm -hmm. um washing away sins all these mm -hmm. things it was uh like a purification all these things were important so when we think about baptism and you talked about er that earlier and i said it earlier too it's really about denying ourselves it's about humbling ourselves before Yahuwah, humbling ourselves before Yahushua. Mm -hmm. Yahushua said in Mark 16, 24, he said, he said unto his disciples, if any man will come after me, let him deny himself mm -hmm. and take up his stake and follow me. Mm -hmm. So that baptism family is about denying ourselves. Mm -hmm. That's what Sister Abby, I was saying when she said, y'all have to, we have to prepare our minds mm -hmm. before we get baptized. Mm -hmm. It's about denying ourselves and saying, look, y'all, I want to follow after you. Right. I want to follow after your son, Yahushua. I'm going to follow. I'm going to deny myself the things that I want, the, this this worldly life and, the, and my goals and achievement and the things that I'm looking for mm -hmm. to achieve, to follow after your ways. Mm -hmm. and, and now if your goals have something to do with you providing for your family and it's not getting right. you to go outside of right. the will of Yah, mm -hmm. that's different. Mm -hmm. You know, because everybody got different professions. Everybody do different things to provide for their families. Right. As long as it's not nothing that's causing you to be out of character again and causing you to get caught up in uh, mm -hmm. things outside of yeah. And I'll say it like this is, is walking in his will. Mm -hmm. And we walking in his will when we're on the job. Mm -hmm. We're walking out there, whatever, whatever we doing, That's wherever y'all have exactly. got people that what? does all kind of things to provide for themselves exactly. and, and their families. Exactly. So we just want to say that too. Again, and I'll kind of um break it down even more family getting baptized we, we can't look at it as like how they look at it in the world like when say when people are getting married what they focus on physical stuff like what? the lavish things they you know they focus more on the materialistic. wedding materialistic mm -hmm. they focus more how the wedding go look right <laughs> they not focus That's on the, the marriage, marriage no. they focus on the wedding how it's going to look how people going to perceive it Mm -hmm. external that's exactly things. and that's how we have to think about the baptism family we not yes the baptism part is important because that's like the cer ceremonial part of it right but we have to be focused on our walk mm -hmm. are we willing to walk this thing out all the way through we could call it a marriage too because it is a marriage right, right. <laughs> yes <laughs> yes because it's like a, it's kind of like a restoration. Yes. It's like us being yes. back in covenant and with Yah. Exactly. Because remember, he divorced Israel. Mm -hmm. You know, Yashrael. Mm -hmm. So it's like, yes. it is a marriage. Great example. <laughs> Great. I never even thought about it like right, that. It is right. a marriage. That's what I was, yeah. And really, yeah. the baptism is really like the wedding part. Mm-hmm. But again, we have to focus more on that <laughs> on marriage. marriage. On You're going through that baptism. Exactly. But what you going to do with it? <laughs> You yes, know, I did that, but guess what? Now I got to focus yes. on walking this thing out. And I prepared my mm, mind for it, too, before right, it even happened. Right. So now when I do it, I'm already prepared each day. I know what's expected mm -hmm. of me, and mm -hmm. I know, you know, what, what I have to do in my walk. You know? Right. But, yeah. Really, yes. Like what you're saying, being prepared for it. Being prepared is okay. I'm, I'm kind of taking an assessment of myself. Yeah, I remove these things out of my life. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I need a sincere heart. Mm -hmm. Put that, that heart in me of flesh. Mm -hmm. Remove that heart of stone from me, yeah. 
Circumcise my Circumcise heart. Circumcise my heart. Mm -hmm. Remove all this sin. Uh, <laughs> take all these curses off that my, my parents, my, my forefathers had. Mm -hmm. Remove these things over my life. A lot of us, we're dealing with things that we have no part of. Our, we're dealing with Pathology the, that, exactly, that passes the on generational on curses. Genetics, like a lot of, believe mm -hmm. it or not, and I'm sure you all know that, it is the truth. Those mm -hmm. things do pass down. Yes. It's sometimes... We can be doing certain things and not even realizing where it's coming from. I think mm. we talked about that before. And then you go and you sit down and talk to your parents or grandparents or you hear the history of your, your grandparents mm -hmm. who, you know, who may not be here anymore. And you hear the type of things that they've done. And then you, you start realizing, oh, my goodness, that's why I love this thing so much. Right. This is why I do this. Yep. I didn't know that my grandparents were, you know, this way or they mm -hmm. partook in these type of things. Mm -hmm. So this is the reason why, you know, that's what I, that's what, what can I say? That's uh, my connection with them. Right. Right. You know, it could be some positive. Yeah. Not, it's not always it's negative. negative. Right. But it could be some positive but it goes too. Both ways, positive right. and negative. You gave an example of truck driving. You remember? <laughs> yeah, my dad. Yeah. He didn't even know he that. Didn't even his, know my his, dad. My dad. My uncles. Your grandfather. Yep. He didn't even know that his grandfather was a truck driver. Exactly. But he didn't find out till after his grandfather was deceased yes. for many years. Many years, long time. And then again, all my brothers. <laughs> We're, they were all truck drivers, so it's didn't just even know. Didn't even know. <laughs> so it's, it, it relates to what you're saying. Mm -hmm. So all of these things are important, uh, family, about preparing ourselves for that baptism. Mm -hmm. It's not just about, oh, I'm, I'm going to go in the water and that's it. Right. Preparing your mind, what you want y'all to purify your heart from, uh, purify you from, mm -hmm. what sins you need mm -hmm. uh, removed from your life, what things you need to cleanse yourself from. Because a lot of it, we have a lot of, what you said, residue oh, well, from yeah. religion, from mm -hmm. our past, from the things of Each our parents. Each and every day we still striving for that perfection and for y'all <clears> to <throat> remove those things off right. of us. The, the residue that's exactly. still there sometimes that we're not aware of mm -hmm. because of just habit. Mm -hmm. You know, just so long of having that within us and because of our makeup, where we come from, you know. Mm -hmm. A lot of things are, are like... How can we say that? It's, in, it's inherited. Right. <laughs> it's inherited. Mm -hmm. That's why you can see people, you look at people and you, you kind of know the expectation. Not the expectation of, of, I would say, you can look and you, you can kind of say, okay, I know where that comes exactly. from. Exactly. Because it's just inherited. Mm -hmm. And that's that's some, with all nations, <clears throat> yes. all races. Generational curses again. Right. And we have to break them through the restoration, yes. you know, yes. in this walk. Yes. And receiving Yah through his mm -hmm. son, Yahushua. Mm -hmm. So, let's talk about it. Why you should be baptized. Mark 16 talks about it. Um, you want to read that for me? Why you should be baptized, family. Mark 16, what, 14? Um, yep, and you talked about it earlier, too. I'll just say this. It's really about a belief. Mm -hmm. it's, it's about a mind change. It's about a heart change. What John was telling everybody. Repent. Mm -hmm. It's about a change of heart. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So let's read that. It says, Afterward he appeared unto the eleven as they sat at meat and upbraided them with their unbelief and hardness of heart mm. because they believed not wow. them which had seen him after he was risen. Mm -hmm. And he said unto them, Go ye into the world and preach the good news to every, pre to every creature. He that believe it and is baptized shall be, be saved. saved but he that believeth not shall be Damn. damned wow. and these signs shall follow them that believe in my name mm. shall they cast out devils mm. they shall speak with new tongues they shall take up serpents and if they drink any deadly thing it shall not Calm hurt them, hurt mm. them. Mm -hmm. they shall lay hands on the sick and they shall recover. Wow. So Yahushua was saying, when you believe in me and you're baptized. Mm -hmm. These are the different <clears throat> things. Yes. That these are things see. that's going to come upon mm -hmm. you. You're going to lay hands on the sick. Mm -hmm. You're going to drink things and not get sick. Mm -hmm. um, speaking in tongues. Mm -hmm. So all these things. Well, that's things, a gift too. Now, right. we know not, not all because we went over. Mm -hmm. We did a, we a about study the on the, the gifts of the Spirit. Mm -hmm. And we know that not everybody has the same <clears throat> gift. Mm -hmm. It's really about what you pray about and ask y'all to, to, you know, the different gifts. You have to pray for those gifts. So we just want to say that too because not we know not everybody 
speaks in tongues, tongues right but everybody can mm -hmm. <clears throat> it really depends on what you desire what you pray and ask you out for right because if you pray and ask them for the gift of belief if you ask them for tongues or whatever that gift is mm -hmm. different gifts of the spirit that can come upon us even some of the things that we mentioned here i'm gonna be i'm gonna be honest mm -hmm. a lot of these things like how they says how it says you can lay hands on the sick and they mm -hmm. shall recover mm -hmm. a lot of those things are not happening today because of a lack of belief yes many Absolutely. of our belief is not as strong as our ancestors as we see in the scriptures as the patriots and the script mm -hmm. the patriarchs they were <laughs> very strong in belief but the difference is they seen a lot. Yes. <laughs> they were able to witness a lot of things. Yes. And now in these last days, you have a group of people who we have not seen all of these things, but we believe that it did come to mm -hmm. pass. We just operating based on our belief that these things are real. Mm -hmm. And that is, remember we read that in one of the scriptures, uh, not one of the scriptures, but one of our messages before. I don't remember what book is in. Mm -hmm. Well, I do know it's in the Apocrypha, but we read about it where y'all said in the end how they will have a group of people who would believe in him and without seeing signs and wonders. Mm, yes. Well, yeah. and that's yeah. who we are. Mm -hmm. So because we haven't seen that, it has affected our belief. I'm talking about to the ability of us healing the sick. Right. And because um, really, we have the power in yes. us. But many of us don't have that belief. That's why we say we have to pray for the yes. gift of belief. Mm -hmm. And that Yah gives us that strong belief to believe in those things. Right. To, so that we can do them. You know. Um, I'll say this too. When you were talking, I thought about this. Um, you're right. A lot of the believers back then, they witnessed these things in person. And I think about it too. This is something that we talk about all the time. They, they weren't distracted by a lot of things. I think now a lot of us, we get distracted. I have to learn all of this stuff. I got so much knowledge. So I get distracted with all the knowledge. That way, your belief is not as strong. Because mm -hmm. I'm so much focused on these other things. Mm -hmm. I, I don't want to stay on milk. Right. I, I want the meat. I want right. to focus on this all this other stuff. But I think that's why our, our belief is not that strong. Because we're so distracted by all these things. Mm -hmm. The cares of the world. And we, we want so much knowledge. But mm -hmm. a lot of those things. And, and you'd be surprised. We saw that story a lot, a lot of time, and we've said this before too. Like with with some Christians, a lot of them you will say, "Well, why did why they got why they got healed, or why they this happened to them, and they're not even calling on the names or nothing?" Mm -hmm. But Yahushua said it is because of your belief, mm -hmm. you were healed. Mm -hmm. And he even said to some of them, because of your unbelief, he said that to some of his disciples. Mm -hmm. Some of the, they couldn't do some of the works because they of their believe. unbelief. Yes. So really. Yes. That's why you see sometimes, believe it or not, there are Christians who have stronger belief yes. than some than some believers who are walking in this church. Mm -hmm. They really do. Yes. And they have seen things come to pass in their lives because their belief is so strong. Yes. I've seen it before. I've seen it. I've seen it. I've, I've seen, seen it. Oh, yes. And but they, their belief is very strong to where a lot of good things you know, like right. happen for mm -hmm. them in their life. Like because, supernatural things. Yes, yes, things and you just know and That's you look yeah. and you're like, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and it's because they yes. believe in Yah's principles, yes. which is belief. Mm -hmm. <laughs> they have strong belief. And many of us, again, it's just right. the truth. Exactly. Not all. I'm not saying all people. We have people in the walk too who have strong belief, but they have a lot of Christians who have stronger belief mm -hmm. than some believers in this body. Yep. And that's why you see a lot of things come to pass in their mm -hmm. lives. It's not because, oh, they oh, like, um, because some of them may say, oh, I've got to be worshiping the mm -hmm. right God mm -hmm. because look at what happens in my life. Yes. Not understanding that it's just the principles because I've heard mm -hmm. people tell me things like that in my face, mm -hmm. shoving it down my throat mm -hmm. because they know about my walk. Mm -hmm. So it's, it's more like a prideful thing. Right. And you know what I respond with? I say, yes, it's because of your belief. Yep. Or I speak their language, mm -hmm. faith, because that's what they use. I say, mm -hmm. it's because of your faith. You, I say, if you have faith mm -hmm. and you believe in the principles of the Most High, I say, it will come to pass. And right. I say, your belief is strong. Mm -hmm. And they just like, yeah. 
you know, that's, that's really what it is. That's powerful. What we're talking about, and uh, you kind of said it when you're talking about tongues and stuff like that, and we're talking about it with the Christians. Um, mm -hmm. A lot of people ask this question when it comes to baptism. Uh, do I need to get baptized to get the Ruach? Well, that answer is yes <laughs> and no. Because we saw that the Ahusha, when he was baptized, the, the Ruach descended upon him. Mm -hmm. But in Acts, we're going to see where they were baptizing, uh, where people got the Ruach before they were baptized. Let's read that. <laughs> Acts chapter 10, uh, starting at verse 44. It says, While Peter yet spake these words, the Ruach fell all, on all of them which heard the word. So it's saying the Ruach fell on them while they, they heard, heard their the word. word. Mm -hmm. And they of the circumcision which believed were astonished. So that was the believers that saw this. <laughs> there was Israel that saw this. Mm -hmm. And they were astonished. As many as come with Peter. Because that on because that on the Gentiles also was poured out the gift of the Ruach. Mm -hmm. Of the set apart spirit. Mm -hmm. For they heard them speak with tongues and magnify Yahuwah. Then answered Peter, Can any man forbid water that these should not be baptized? <laughs> so we just read, family, they received the Ruach. Mm -hmm. They received the gift. And then mm -hmm. Peter asking them, he's asking the Israelites, Y'all going for, to for, forbid water from them? Y'all not going to let them be baptized? They got the Ruach. <laughs> Deep. What? And you know what? I know that to be mm -hmm. true. And Brother Rasha could tell you all. Mm -hmm. I was speaking in tongues before I got baptized. Now, tongues, I'm going to be honest with you. For me, everybody's walk is different. Mm -hmm. I prayed for that. Mm -hmm. I prayed for the gift of tongues. And that was like before, right. I'm going to be honest before with you, that's, that was before the truth. That's, mm -hmm. That was actually in the process of me transitioning to the truth. Mm -hmm. Because that was like literally a month, about a month before I started coming to uh, coming into this awakening. Mm -hmm. And then that's when I started to understand. I'm like, oh my goodness, I, how was I able to speak in tongues? I was actually questioning it at the right. time because I was like, was this of Yah? Right. I couldn't understand. I'm mm -hmm. like, how is this of Yah if I wasn't calling on the names? Mm -hmm. But what Yah has given me was because of my belief. Mm -hmm. Because when I prayed and I asked him for the gift, he, I, was, I had belief in the process that he would give me that. And I was praying earnestly for it. But you know, and I'm going to be honest with you. In Christianity, these type of pastors that they have, some pastors, they'll do like, if you're not, if you don't have the gift of tongues, right. something wrong with right. you. Right, right. And so that's what they I was dealing with at right. the time. They try to force it. They try to force it. And mm -hmm. so I was like, if you heard our testimony, I'm not going to go into deep details, mm -hmm. but we talk about that in some of our other teachings, where they have a pastor who was, we went, me and Brother Rasha went to church, our, who was our pastor right. then. Mm -hmm. And he was telling us, come to this event because right. everybody's going to be speaking in tongues and we're going to help you, show you how to, do to it. speak in tongues. We're mm -hmm. going to show you how to do it. And we never learned nothing about no speaking in tongues. We never spoken no tongues. Never happened. Exactly. And I was feeling awkward. I'm like, what's wrong with me? Mm -hmm. So I kept praying and praying and praying and crying. When I say crying out and praying, I'm like, I want to speak in tongues. Mm -hmm. And eventually, as I started praying and crying to Yah, and I was no longer thinking about speaking, I was just like, just crying out and praying, right. just have, in prayer. I just it just started coming naturally. Mm -hmm. And it was because of my belief in Yah that he would give me that gift of speaking in tongues. Right. But I prayed like earnestly for that. But that again, when I came into the truth, I was questioning, mm -hmm. is this really of Yah? Right. But then come to, you know, as I studied and realized, mm -hmm. I'm like, yes, that can happen according to your belief. Mm -hmm. Because Yah was preparing me for the truth. Right. And it continued right. after the truth mm -hmm. and stuff like that. But now that's something that if I ever do it, it's in my prayer closet. Because right. if I don't have nobody to interpret it, right. and I can't interpret it, ain't nobody need to hear me exactly. speaking in tongues. <laughs> unless it's just something that just comes out and mm -hmm. I can't control it. <laughs> right. Because when you're speaking in tongues, it does come out to um, a point to where you can't control it. Right, right. Um, mm -hmm. you know, but anywho, I just wanted to say that. Right. So this is true what they're saying. Mm -hmm. And I just wanted to give an example in, in, in my life, that it happened with right. me. So let's continue reading. Uh, Peter said, that's verse 47. Can any man forbid water that these should not be baptized, mm -hmm. which have received the Ruach mm. as, we, as well as we? Hmm. And he commanded them to be baptized in the name of Yahuwah. Then 
prayed they him to tarry certain days. So we see family, that's, yes, <laughs> you can get the Ruach without being baptized. Right. And remember that the Ruach teaches us all truth. Because you heard what I just said a while ago? Mm -hmm. It was like a month before me transitioning right. into the truth. Right. So it's like when I was seeking understanding, it was clear to me now. Mm -hmm. I was starting to see things clear. Right. The Ruach was already yes. in me, speaking to me yes. and drawing me to the truth. Mm -hmm. Isn't that amazing? That's how y'all works. <clears throat> we talked about it in a couple of lessons back. We said, y'all... He gives the Ruach however he wants to do it, to whoever he wants to give it to. He's in control of all of that. Mm -hmm. So he's in control of that, mm -hmm. uh, however he disperses the Ruach mm -hmm. family. So very important. But let, let's continue. Let's dive into this even more. How must you be baptized? Mm -hmm. How must you be baptized? And again, Yahushua told them how to do it. Mm -hmm. Matthew 28, verse 16, he says, then the eleven disciples went away into Galilee, into a mountain where Yahushua had appointed them. And when they saw him, they worshipped him, but some doubted. And Yahushua came and spake unto them, saying, All power is given unto me <clears throat> in heaven and in earth. Go ye therefore and teach all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Ruach HaKadosh. Father, Son, and the Ruach family. When we being baptized, that's how we have to be baptized. Mm -hmm. That's how Yahushua said it has to be done. Mm -hmm. That's why the names are important. Mm -hmm. That's why we don't want nobody baptizing us in the name of JC. Mm -hmm. That's why we don't want nobody baptizing us in the name of Lord. That's <clears throat> Again, going back to Christianity, that's why when they say the name don't matter, <laughs> God, Lord, Yahushua telling them in the name of, that's, that's titles, in the name of the Father, Lord and God, that's titles. Mm -hmm. So the names are very important. Well, Jesus is all those names. Mm. We just said that the name Jesus didn't exist, don't have no meaning. No. Nothing to do with Hebrew, that's no. Greek and Latin. So how is... The name's important, but you call it on Greek and Latin names. Something don't add up, family. And when you know better, you do better. Exactly. Exactly. Y'all can wink at your ignorance in mm -hmm. that moment. And then it said, too, in a time, in a time past, y'all winked at your ignorance. But now, he, I mean, winked at ignorance. But now he requires for everyone to <coughs> repent and come to the knowledge. Mm -hmm. So... That's saying that you got to restore this thing. You got to exactly, change some things. Exactly. If it wasn't right, now you got to change it because exactly. it's no longer we winking at our ignorance because no, we better. know better now. Now you know better. You That's know not better. the true name. So I'm not winking at ignorance anymore. Mm -hmm. now, now I'm requiring you to repent. Right. Get this stuff together. Absolutely. So let, let's, let's expound on this because this is the question that we always get. In fact, they were talking about it the other day in the chat. Who can baptize you? Mm -hmm. Let's talk a little bit about how when we got baptized. <laughs> Y'all know we when we came into a when Sister Abby I came into the truth, we were going to get baptized um, by the ministry that we were under. They used to give uh, what well, like events, events where people would go and get baptized. That's mm -hmm. in the ministry. So they used to what rent rent like uh, rent like and this was before Airbnb. Right. Yeah, they rent like hotels or something well, or, it was kind of like a vacation spot right. but it was a time it was beautiful because it was a time for them to gather with mm -hmm. other uh, believers. believers and there everybody would chip in on right. one, be on one accord with it and then they would just get come together right and everybody would contribute mm -hmm. and they would do a baptism right at that you know at right. that place they had a pool and everybody mm -hmm. would, would get baptized which I thought was beautiful. We were supposed to attend one, mm -hmm. but it didn't happen that right, way. <laughs> we, uh, fell away from the ministry right. before it happened. Before so, it happened. Um, so, us as a family, being that we didn't uh, get baptized through the ministry, I, as the leader of the family, I baptized my whole family. Mm -hmm. um, men, the men are the priests of their families. Mm -hmm. That's what the word says. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, and we saw in the scriptures that it was the the apostles uh, baptizing the, the people, and John the Baptist baptized Yahushua. Right. So, 
Um, that's important that you be baptized, family. Um, and before and best, you... Let, let me just say this. Okay. And, and in the best case scenario, like we were talking about, if you're a part of an assembly or something like that, get baptized by an elder family. Mm -hmm. Get baptized. Find someone that's calling on the name, mm -hmm. that's in the belief, that's in the truth. Or mm -hmm. brethren. Right. That's in the truth. Right. You know, because <clears throat> not everybody's operating on entitles too. You know, it right. just depends. But like you said, if you're in a congregation, yes. Right. Why not? Because the elders usually date the one that's going right. to, to do the baptism. Do it right, mm -hmm. right, right, right. Mm -hmm. But if you're not connected to that, mm -hmm. then you could find a, a brother in the in the belief. Mm -hmm. Right? Yeah. A brother in the belief. And uh, um, another one too. I, I know a lot of people say, you know, I'm alone and, and how can I link up with people? Um <clears throat> You just have to kind of be careful with it. But a lot of people, y'all join Facebook groups. You find Facebook groups in your area. Find an assembly. Even if you're not a part of an assembly. You find one that's close by and just say, hey, I want to be baptized. Y'all calling on the names. I like when y'all have a, a, a baptism event. I like to get baptized in the name. Mm -hmm. um, and you could do it that way. So mm -hmm. there's uh, <clears throat> multiple different ways. And again, I talked about it. Husband could do his family. Okay, does it have to be, y'all have to go in a uh, in living water, in, in a pond, in a lake. It have to be running water. Family, it could be done in a pool. It could be done in a tub. The mm -hmm. thing is, is the water. It's Remember, the water. <laughs> the water is the symbolism. Mm -hmm. The water is what cleanses. Mm -hmm. The water is what uh, purifies. Because mm -hmm. it's about your conscience exactly. first. Remember, that's, it's your conscience. That's what the scripture says. Right. It's about uh, having mm -hmm. a clean conscience with yeah. With yeah. So that's the, the symbolism of the water. It's cleansing away. It's washing away that old man. Yes. Washing away that sin. Yes. <clears throat> and what Yahushua said, if you believe in me, mm -hmm. you're going to have a, uh, out of your belly will flow living waters. Mm -hmm. out of Yahushua, Yahushua said, of waters, right, yes. Yahushua said, I'm that fountain of living mm -hmm. water. Out of you, <laughs> people going to see me. <laughs> mm -hmm. And and at this, you might have adult sons too. If right. your parents, all of these things, you can right. use your, you, they right. can do it if they're believers. Exactly. They can baptize you too. It's it's really about using your resources. Right. We would, um. well, no, I, I don't want to, you was going to mm. say something else? No, I was just saying, uh, uh, the final win, and sometimes you just have to think about it, family, and this is, Worst case scenario. We gave the best case scenario. This is worst case scenario. Until family. you could find yes. someone to baptize exactly. you. Exactly. You can do it this way. <laughs> this is the last right. way. It's do it yourself, family. Um, we, we read the story of what Elijah told Naaman to go do. You want to be cleansed from this leprosy? Go dip yourself in the water. The water. <laughs> he went dip himself he in went the water. He went dip himself in the water. So sometimes, because y'all judges the heart. Exactly. And you got to cry out to him and, 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 you know, and tell them what's in your heart and that you really desire to do this mm -hmm. and to help you to find, you know, someone to connect with to do it for you. But until then, Father, I'm so serious about this exactly. thing. Exactly. I'm going to do it myself because yes. if you are a believer... Nine times out of ten, you are a believer. You are already walking in the spirit. Right. You already got the spirit because mm -hmm. the spirit is the spirit is what teaches us all things. Mm -hmm. You can't have understanding without the spirit. Right. That's why you can see a whole world without understanding. Mm -hmm. And they're looking at us like we weird, and we can see things they can't see right. because we have the ruach. So you have it already. Yes. So that one thing too, mm -hmm. which we kind of like have talked about. We would love to do yes. a gathering where we can do baptism. Mm -hmm. But we would have to know, <laughs> you know, that there there's brothers and sisters in the walk who need baptism. There have to right. be enough people yeah. that, you know, want to do it, can do it, and we would have to come together with our right. resources, just like they did you in the scriptures. Yahushua, I mean, Yahuwah bless us where we, right. he'll make a way. Right. Just say that. But, Even if it's one person. Right. It don't have person, to be a whole exactly. bunch of people, but we have to know that it's going to be a need yes. for it. Mm -hmm. But we would have to come together with our resources to do it, mm -hmm. like I said, as they did in the scriptures. Right. Because it's just the right thing to do. Because mm -hmm. everybody, all of us are, are natural people. Mm -hmm. We all doing the best we can. Right. We all providing for our families, ourselves the best way we can. So it's, it's just only right mm -hmm. that if, if we can all come together equally with our resources and say, let's get together. Right. And let's, you know, get this done. Right. Unless, y'all, you know, in the future something happens to where he... he 
you know, sends us the resources mm. to where we can actually do right, something do like them, that. Yeah. That would be beautiful too. Mm -hmm. But we still would have to come together in some right. kind of way as a body mm -hmm. and contribute. And right. if we have people that's willing to do that, then we would consider right. it. But of course, y'all would have to lead us, mm -hmm. in, lead us in that, put it right. in the park. So that was pretty much our lesson, family. We talked about how important it was. I know we kind of kept you guys long, but this lesson was very mm -hmm. um, important. It was mm -hmm. crucial. Again, um, I mean, us doing this lesson, we... We're going to rededicate ourselves, family. Yes. It's really about rededicating yes. ourselves to you Years yes. ago. When we did years it. Years so, ago. Um, it's very important. It's uh, just asking y'all to purify us, to cleanse us, mm -hmm. rededicating ourselves to him and, and actually knowing the meaning. Because mm -hmm. um, kind of like when we first did it, it kind of was almost, I would say, like a, uh, I would say like, okay, everybody else is doing it. Mm-hmm. Without actually yep. fully understanding and our what it meant, were young. yeah, they were young. They were and now they're young. much older. They're so much older. It's important for them. So to, we want yes to understand why it's important. To yes, do it. so. and we want them to have their own experience now since they're adults. Mm -hmm. So yep. we're definitely going to rededicate ourselves. Mm -hmm. So, fam, we hope this lesson was edifying. We hope we put that question to rest about baptism. Can you do it? Who should do it? Why you should do it? Is it important? Mm -hmm. All these things, family. And if you have any questions, just definitely could email us. Drop them in the comments. Mm -hmm. Have you been baptized? Are you looking to get baptized? We'd love to right. hear from you. Right. Um, and just, again, just drop them in the comments. Right. So, That's it. That's it. Thank you all for joining mm -hmm. us today, family. And we're going to talk to you all next week. Love you all. See you soon.